BBC News with Debbie Russ. A court in Turkey has sentenced the businessman and civil rights campaigner Osman Kavala to life in prison without parole in a case which has strained relations with Europe. Judges took only an hour to find Mr Kavala guilty of attempting to overthrow the government. Rights groups and Western diplomats say the case against him is politically motivated. Shares in Twitter have risen following reports that it's about to be sold to the billionaire Elon Musk for more than $40 billion. Mr Musk, the world's richest man, says Twitter must be a platform for free speech. A proposal by Russia to allow the evacuation of civilians from a besieged steelworks in the Ukrainian city of Mariupol has failed. A Ukrainian deputy prime minister told the BBC that any plan had to be backed up by international guarantees. Russia has announced the expulsion of 40 German diplomats. Earlier this month, Germany ordered 40 officials at the Russian embassy in Berlin to leave, following the discovery of mass graves outside Kiev. A judge in New York has found Donald Trump in contempt of court for failing to provide documents demanded as part of a probe into his business empire. The former US president has been ordered to pay a fine of $10,000 a day until he complies. The medical charity Médecins Sans Frontières says three people have been killed inside a hospital in the Sudanese region of Darfur. The UN has called for an investigation into clashes in recent days between rival communities, which reportedly left more than 160 people dead. And a study by scientists in Finland has indicated big environmental benefits if consumers switch their diets towards so-called novel foods, including meat grown from cells in a laboratory. They found that such products could sharply reduce carbon emissions from agriculture.